Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe Lyons here from the Automator. And I, Isaiah, so we were we were we were actually just talking because we're creating this uh, free Udemy course on auto hockey on the FAQ kind of stuff, like what you should know when you first start. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool, and you can jump around because they're not necessarily contingent that you work through them in a, a linear fashion. Anyway, we 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 had we hadn't really coordinated well, and we were recording them kind of differently, and some were getting edited differently, and and just different things. Yep. And uh, we were trying to talk about how we should plan this better so we're more consistent. And then Isaiah, tell them the, the idea you threw out there, of like just the simple one for next time. Yeah. So basically what we did is uh, most of the times we record our videos and edit it ourselves, right? But as uh, you are doing it on your computer and at your time, and I'm doing it on my time, then it happens that maybe sometimes we don't talk about what we're going to do in the production. And I was saying like, hold on, why don't we do this? We record all and then you let me edit them and you just check on them. And that way, all of them will have kind of like the same edits. Like, for example, one of the things that we were having is that I cut all my ums, but you didn't, right? So, so it was like, okay. And the other one that we were working on the other course, I think, or whatever, was the level of the volume level alone, right? For and example, like, the volume levels, right? right? We wouldn't have to worry about that, right? Exactly, it's, no. It's and, such and, a brilliant, and, simple idea. Yeah. Right. So basically, we could do that, okay? That's uh, the, the idea. And that branched off to one of the questions that you were just kind of like throwing out there. Okay, isn't it better to have somebody to do that? Like, have a specific person that is going to do that? Every time we do, yes. And then you branch that off to, isn't it good to do that in software? And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what um, a project manager and a software engineer do. So you have one person that designs the software. He, his job is to think about how we're going to solve the problem. Okay, so these are the things, these are the tools that are better for this job. These are the APIs that we're going to use. Now, if you connect these two together and do, that's his job. He designs how, the, how to solve the problem in a way that uh, minimizes what you were talking about yesterday, which was um, you write a lot of code. And then in the refactoring time, you say, well, I didn't need all of this. And then you discard a lot of work. And I was like, yeah, the problem with that is that you spent a lot of time coding something that later on you deleted. That's wasted time. When you have somebody that goes ahead and designs the, pro the, 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 the project, you minimize that waste. Okay, It's going to happen anyways, but you minimize it. No, right. but so your point here, just on that one, is just mm -hmm. a little more thought up front, right? Especially by one person can really yeah. help every everyone in the long run everywhere, right? Like that's, that's true. Then you have, then you have now you have different sections of the program. Well, my program is going to connect to these APIs, and then it's going to show the, uh, save that into a database, and now it's going to show it in the GUI. Then you, you divide that and say, okay, hold on, this guy knows a lot about networking, so he should do anything that has to do with connections and sending APIs. Now, this other guy is a guru in databases. He knows exactly what to do with data. So he should handle anything that has to do with the database. And this other guy is completely awesome in creating very good GUIs. He should do the GUI. Now you have what is called a project manager. Now he is the one who is gonna coordinate. So everybody is gonna do their own parts of the code that was designed by somebody else, right? Everybody's going to do their own thing. And the project manager is the one that is going to be kind of like coordinating between them and making sure that the code is going to kind of like look a little bit more um, homogenous, right? So it's yep. going to not look everybody like everybody coding right. whatever they want. Style, so right. it, yeah, you have your coding style guide, how you should do certain things and how the API is going to look like so that the guy who is working with the database can call the same functions that the other guy is actually... So, it is kind right. of like you divide the, 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 the work in such a way that everybody does their own thing, but there's somebody, which is the project manager, who is going to overlook the whole thing so that it looks more or less the same, which is what we were actually referring to right now right. with yeah, the video was, things. Yeah. Right. So in that case, if there was somebody making the oversight, 
you record your things, I record my things, we send it over, and the project manager is going to say, now, okay, so we have to edit this so that all of them look more or less consistent. You know, that's, and, and that exists in, in software right. now, uh, production, of course. For a lot of people watching this, they're, they're often, they're not necessarily working at big companies, right? However, mm -hmm. they still might be like you and I. If you're working with anyone else, like just one other person, think about it ahead of time and figure out if there's a better way to split up your work so you compartmentalize it and you don't have people doing the same jobs and then doing those jobs differently, right? So that way I take care of all one thing, you take care of all, I take care of all getting all the money, you can do all the work. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we split the things in, in, in you know, 50-50, 50 50% of the money goes that way, the other 50% of the work goes my way, right? So it would be 50-50, money one side, the work right, on yes. the other, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. it's completely fair. Um, but anyway, yeah. I think it was a really interesting, I thought, aha, that, that we could adapt into other things and help you realize that there's, there's you know, smarter ways if you're working with anybody else. Um, and, and honestly, back to that point, this is, this is why I don't do a lot of the programming. When, when we're, you and I are working on stuff, I don't say, well, let me go write that for you, Isaiah. It's like, because no, I'm like, right. you're a much better programmer than I am, right? Why would I be doing that? I can be working on other aspects of our business and doing other things, right? That, that right. I'm better at. Um, and then, you know, it just, it all works out better, right? So, right, exactly. Yeah, but that's the thing. Now, 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 in our case, yeah, you are doing certain things. I'm doing certain other things, but there's nobody kind of like guiding that everything goes the same no, way. Right. That's the problem right. when sometimes yeah. some things overlap and that's uh, 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 something that it is not bad. You can do that because we are not like a right. huge team or anything. Right. And we well, can actually talk really. Which, oh, yeah. It, what I was where I thought and then you had that insight. So it, it diverted. What I thought you were going to say when we were talking earlier was we should have like a template of, hey, when we're starting a project, here, here is the things we're going to do like ahead of time so we know, um, and we should have that for everything, right? Like a process of what we're going to handle and how, how it's going to flow um, and just start it. And, and, and that's the great thing is like you and I both know, neither of us are pointing fingers at each other, right? No. It's like, hey, we just, let's start next time we go through this, let's have let's a do little, it a little bit better, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and, and my point on that was that basically, um, if you cannot afford to have a person to oversight the project, which is a project manager, it doesn't matter. You could do it in other ways. One way is kind of like what you said, templates. Mm -hmm. Another way is try to not overlap the same tasks. If I'm right. editing, you right. don't edit, right? So right. that way, all the edit looks the same because I'm going to do right. the same for both videos. Yeah. Now, that is the type of things that there are different ways to solve the same issue. But one of the easiest ways just to have one person that is gonna take care of that and he's gonna be good at it and he's gonna do exactly that all the time. But there are other ways for you to actually kind of like solve that, right? Right. Awesome, man, good talk. <laughs> talk to you later.